The release of VE2017 introduces the ability to create HVAC zones within a user's energy model. For the purposes of this demonstration, I have a model with 30 spaces, 15 conditioned rooms, and 15 return air plenums. I'm going to zone this model into nine HVAC zones that will be served by three air handling units. HVAC zones and zone groups can be found in the browser by accessing the pull-down menu containing the model's space groups. At the top, there will be a new HVAC zones and zone groups option available. By default, none of my spaces are zoned and there is only one zone group called AHU1. Now there's a few different ways that I can go about creating these zones and zone groups. Uh, I can firstly add a zone to my model. I'll call this my first floor, uh, let's do northwest zone. And I can select my north and my west spaces and drag them into this zone group. I can change where my thermostat is located within this zone by selecting the space and right clicking on it to set it as the master room. Whichever space is the master room is the room that contains the thermostat. The way my geometry is built currently, each of these spaces has their own return air plenum. Since I can't have multiple return air plenums in a single zone, I have the option to right click on this zone, and in the plenums menu, I can combine those return air plenums. Now those two previously existing plenums were connected in my model at geometry. My zone is now complete, and I can drag it into my first zone group, AHU1, and keep working on the rest of my zones. Now I don't have to create the zone before I place it in the zone group. I can add a zone to this zone group. I'll call this my first floor southeast. And I can grab my first floor east and south spaces and drag them into this zone. Again, I'm going to need to combine my plenums because of the way that I've created my model. Those are all of the zones that are going to go on my AHU1 zone group. So I need two more zone groups to represent the two other air handling units I intend to have on this project. There's two ways I can create more zone groups. In the Create and Edit dialog, I can edit my zone and zone groups the way that I've always edited room groups in previous versions of the software. For example, I can add AHU2, and within AHU2, I can add my four zones. I'm going to use the second floor northwest, second floor southeast, third floor northwest, and third floor southeast. Additionally, I can right click in the browser and add a new zone group. I'll call this one AHUC because it's where my core zones are going to be located. Now I can start to drag and drop spaces into these zones. For each of these, I'm going to quickly combine the plenums. My AHU2 zone group is complete with four HVAC zones. In the case of my third air handling unit that serves my core spaces, if I select these three spaces and drag them into AHUC, the software has created unitary zones for me. So here it's created an L1 core zone that contains the L1 core space, the L2 core zone with the L2 core space, and so on. At this point, all of my spaces have been zoned, and all of my zones are in zone groups. I now have nine HVAC zones grouped into three different zone groups. If I save my model and I switch over to Apache, I now have an option to access an HVAC zones display mode. So by toggling the option up here in this pull down menu, I can switch into HVAC zones display mode. And now if I click a space on my model, I'm actually selecting the zone instead of the space. Likewise, the function of the query button has changed. So if I now query this zone, I get a zone data dialog as opposed to the space data dialog you're previously familiar with. Here I have the name of the zone that I have the ability to edit. 
I have the master room that I can change with the pull down menu as opposed to the right click set master room option. I have the return air plenum and I can see the heating and cooling set point assigned to this zone. If I want to change the temperature offset associated with the return air plenum, I can do that in this dialog as well. As you might expect, these HVAC zones and zone groups give me some new options within Apache HVAC. I'll start by importing a prototype system from the library. Just grab a 5A as an example. And you'll notice I have an option to load the system with zone components or room components. So by default, the software has a preference for zone components, but if you'd like to work without HVAC zones, like you would have been doing prior to VE 2017, you can always toggle to room components and continue to assign rooms to your systems without using HVAC zones. I'm going to use the zone components instead. You can see my room component is now a zone component. You do have the ability to right click and convert this back and forth between a room component and a zone component as needed. I'm going to go ahead and assign one of my zone groups to this multiplex. So this is the same process that I used to assign rooms in previous versions of the software. Except now instead of signing rooms based on room groups, I'm assigning zones based on zone groups. If while you're in Apache HVAC you want to make changes to either your zones or your zone groups, you can do so without leaving the application. Over here on the HVAC Components browser tree, if I expand that pull down menu, I have the option to take a look at my zone and zone groups that I previously defined. I can make changes in here. I can move zones from one group to another, and in this case I'll move it back, as well as I can move spaces from one zone to another zone. A few things to note about making changes to your zones and zone groups while you're in Apache HVAC. Firstly, I can't make edits to my HVAC network while I'm in the zone and zone groups browser mode. So if I come over here and click in my HVAC network, I get an error message right away that tells me this option isn't available in my browser mode. Instead, I need to change back to my HVAC components view to be able to make edits in my HVAC network. Because I've made changes to my zone groups and zones, I'm getting this dialog now that's acknowledging those changes and noting that I haven't saved them. So I can choose to save those or I can continue without those edits that I was making. Either way, I have the option to open the Zone Checks and Updates dialog. So let me save these changes and show you what that looks like. The Zone Checks and Updates dialog here has opened automatically for me. Uh, I can open this at any time from within Apache HVAC using this button on the toolbar for the zone, Zoning Checks and Updates. I have the option to ask it to just check for consistency, or I can have it check for consistency and update as needed. So if I just check for consistency to start, it tells me right away that I've got a few mistakes here that I need to correct in my model. My second floor zone contains a space that it didn't previously have. So this first error message tells me that my Apache HVAC zone component doesn't match the rooms that are in my HVAC zone grouping scheme. The second error message here is noting that I now have two plenums associated with a single zone, which isn't possible. So I need to make some corrections there to my plenums. The third is noting that another one of my zones now has fewer spaces than previously. So again, the spaces assigned to the zone in the HVAC network do not match the spaces assigned to the zone in the model. This next warning message is letting me know that my model includes HVAC zones with more than one plenum association. So that's talking about the second floor southeast zone that now has two return air plenums associated with it. I am allowed to continue to Apache HVAC and keep working, but I will need to correct this at some point prior to running my simulation. If I save this HVAC file and open up one I've previously created, I'm going to get an alert that lets me know my HVAC zoning is not consistent with this HVAC file. It encourages me to run the zoning checks and updates, as well as the zoning checks and updates button is now has a yellow background. So when I click on this and check for consistency, it alerts me to the differences that now exist between my HVAC file and the HVAC grouping in my model. 
Prior to making these changes to my zones and zone groups, I ran a simulation so we have some results to look at in Vista Pro. When I'm looking at results in Vista Pro, I now have the option to view results for HVAC zones. I can access these HVAC zones two ways. First, I can change my display mode to HVAC zones the way that I did in Apache and simply select a space in the model, which will of course select a zone. Or I can navigate in my browser to my HVAC zones and zone groups and select one of my zones from there. So if I pick one of my zones and I plot the air temperature in this zone, I can see the results aggregated for my HVAC zone. So I still have the ability to look at, let me switch back to model display mode here. Uh, I still have the ability to look at these two spaces separately, but by selecting the zone, I can see the aggregate of those two spaces. So this would be the same as if I selected each of those spaces individually and then combined spaces. If you have any questions about HVAC zones or any of the other new features in VE 2017, please don't hesitate to contact us in support at support at IESVE.com.